Hi, this is Lynn Taylor, and I'm with Neil here, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his clay tile roof for historic companies. Hello, we've been manufacturing the southeast of England since the late 1500s, and every tile is made by hand. We are the preferred tile of the English National Trust. As I said before, every single tile is made by hand. If you look at the back of the tile, you see here an imprint of a hand maker. Oh, wow. Is there? Okay, we dig all our own clay. Um, we were an award winner at the uh, Philadelphia Exhibition of 1876, and we decided it was about time we came back. <laughs> Since then, we've done about uh, three properties here in the United States, two here in Nashville, um, and we've just uh, provided the tiles for the rebuild. You see here, this is the oldest chapel in the United States that's been rebuilt, and the closest tile they could find to the original was this red tile that you see here. Oh, wow. Which is the base tile that's dug back in England. Now, do you dig your clay in different regions to try to find the right match no, no, of color, there, there or just one a, place? No, there's a type of uh, clay called Wilden clay, which is where we're based. Um, you only find this in the southern area of England, and the beauty of that is it fires this lovely, rich red orange color. What we then do is there's sand face, because the sand enables the clay the tile to be taken out of the wall. And it's what we mix with the sand is what gives the tiles their various colors. Okay. Now, does property owners, do sometimes they order just a small batch of tile, or do they always just do the whole roof? They tend mostly to do the whole roof. And what you find is that once the tile is aged, you may get one or two that will break, and then people will, will want one or two tiles. The trouble then is that if you find a tile, these will last over 100 years. And after 100 years, tiles are actually taken off and replaced. Uh, sorry, these tiles will be taken off and reused. Okay. Okay. What you will find occasionally is that people want to replace these tiles where they've aged a bit more and have various colorings. What you find here, the tile that we have down here, what we've done here is these almost have pre-sooting on them. Oh, okay. You know, but they've been done on purpose, they're brand new, so that when you put these into an old roof, they're an exact match. Okay, that's great, because I know that different lot and time ages uh, materials, and you can't always get yeah, them just here. Yeah. Well, what these, what's these little ornamentations I see? Well, these are little ornamentations. These are, these are little imps, and the bigger ones that we call gargoyles. Uh -huh. If you went back about 100 to 120 years ago, people would not have a roof without some form of effigy or something on, on the end of it. This is mainly to ward off evil spirits, uh -huh. but now they've become a, a bit of fun. Yes. They and, and what we're trying to do is bring that bit of fun back, especially these little boys here. If you have a, a small porch outside your front door, as people come up, you put this on the actual ridge. So as people come up to your house, this is what they see. Oh, cool. <laughs> I know you've got some other figurines like cats, dogs. Yeah. This oh. is where you're having fun with the product. Yeah, this is where it's just a bit of fun. Okay, great. Um, Is there anything else we need to know about your product? Well, only that, um, yeah, we're, we're trying to get back into the United States, as I said. We, we are the preferred tile of the English National Trust. Um, we are the preferred tile of the Royal Family. Mm -hmm. The Queen is uh, just replacing her own private chapel in Windsor Grounds, and she personally has chosen the King Tile, which is a new place for And we have been used by members of the Beatles, Rolling Stones, Die Straits, Queen. It's just a who's who mm -hmm. of people. Um, they are. So we are supposedly the best tile in the world, we say, we've tile in the world. Now, the Nashville houses, was that a, a private house or was that a commercial property here in Nashville? Uh, the two properties we've done here in Nashville are both private homes. Okay. Um, I'm not exactly allowed to say who they are. I understand that completely. <laughs> That's why I said residential, private. Yeah, well, um, all I can say is that, you know, when I, when I named all, all of the pop stars there, the two here in Nashville are two very famous country and western stars. Oh, okay, great, great. <laughs> so, do you have a website? People can look at we you? We have a website if you'd like to see us. It's www.kemas.com. K E Y M E R. Okay, we'll put that on the link uh, on our video too. Neil? Great, thank you. Appreciate great information.